Hello, hello, everyone. Finally, finally, we have figured out a way how to use VS Code on your mic. And in terms, you can use the scan and also you can do the debugging. And today, I'm going to show you a solution we found um, step by steps. So, uh, here at first, I would like to create a workspace and right now it's empty there's nothing there and I can go to the VS code on my mic and open that workspace folder uh, that's it just open it and right now there's nothing there and let's add one because I'm going to use uh, the one I'm printing out a triangle uh, which I have done in a lecture. So just use the triangle. The code, it's already there, and I, I guess you already tried it out. It's something like this. So we save it, and as usual, um, as we suggested previously, we don't have to write a launch and JSON and task JSON by ourselves. So I will follow the steps previously uh, we have introduced to pick these two options uh, in that case um, it will the VS code will, cre will create the launch and dot JSON and at the same time it will create uh, let's see the task JSON for, for us as well However, right now it's in the debugging model using the TCC. So um, you're not able to use the scan and you're not able to input um, the numbers uh, we're expecting there. So you, you have tried that. Uh, like this, when you input something, it will give out an arrow tell you you're not being able to do it. Okay, so today I'm going to uh, show you how to solve that problem. First, let's stop debug debugging because this is not a way uh, we're doing it. So here, go this icon. That's for extensions for VS Code. So here, I'm going to install um, a code LL. DB as showing here. That's an uh, extension we're going to use today. Because I already installed it, uh, there uh, uh, should be a button install if you haven't uh, do it. So install this extension, and then you're all set. Um, after installation of code LLDB, you should go here to add a configuration. In that case, you uh, you can pick this LLDB launch. After that installation of the LLDB uh, code, LLDB ex extension, you will find more more options from here. And here you can click this one. In um, here are two places you have to modify. Uh, basically, um, you're asked to give a name of your program. Uh, basically, I will just use, you can copy this one, or indeed, you can use any of the name you like. That determines um, what your, uh, the name of your application, you can use any name. Uh, for example, you can type a triangle there as well to replace this part. Anyway, what I'm doing here is use um, this uh, automatically replacement uh, parameter which will replace this part to the file name uh, for example the triangle here so um, so in that case I don't have to worry about which name uh, I'm going to use I just let the uh, compiler decide it by itself and dynamically and this is the part uh, you have to change and the rest are just optional for the for example usually i will change this because uh, the launch the name it's 
uh, configuration for this part um, uh, right now is by default is launch so it's not a good name so I'm going to change that actually you can change it to any name you like I, in that case I will use debug in terminal because uh, later you will see we're going to see the progress here in this terminal window rather than uh, uh, um, somewhere else so I'm going to use this debug in terminal as a name for this configuration okay I can save it and this this is almost about everything you have to do right now we go back to the triangle and dot C the program we have there then we can run the debug then we run the debug okay but by default uh, it's still running the previous configuration we have uh, click this button you will see that reach for configuration you are using this is by default using the GCC and to do the debugging but let's use this icon to stop the debugging because we're going to use the new configuration uh, we uh, we had here like debug in terminal you will see uh, if you go here you will see that this debug in terminal is just what I have inputted in that configuration then this GCC is a second configuration it's actually the um, VS code uh, created for us automatically if you go back this launch JSON you will see it uh, here it's a name uh, it's it's here right so the second configuration uh, the name is GCC build and debug active file so that's the uh, this option the second option appears to there so I'm going to use the uh, first one uh, I have inputted uh, that means this one we just uh, edit use this configuration to run the debugging so uh, after uh, doing this switch to the debugging terminal I can click this button you will see here magic in the terminal you are asked to input a number I will give it five then you will see the result immediately that's the result of this program that's a debugging process mm, okay uh, that's we what I uh, we have done so far however um, I'm going to show you even right now you're able to input uh, that thing uh, that's basically corresponding to the scan uh, line of code however I'm going to uh, show you today you are um, actually being able to do it step by step here by adding the breakpoint um, okay by click here you will have a break point that means uh, I hope the program the program pause uh, when it's uh, run up to here and I in that case I can check out um, the value of each of the variable and here so uh, let's add the breakpoint and indeed you can add more actually you can add another breakpoint at anywhere you want so uh, let's add it there okay another one okay then we start debugging uh, remember right now you have to use um, the one we just added okay start it you will see here okay it stopped here right now in the terminal there's nothing there because this printf um, code and hasn't been executed so after it has been executed this input the number in the range of 1 to 100 will appear here okay let's do it uh, you can this is uh, to move one step that means to execute uh, this line of code okay uh, you will see uh, here's nothing there because um, uh, uh, this is a little bit confusing because uh, you know 
Uh, the reason here is after the printf uh, print uh, this thing, uh, it actually will be first put in a place called cache uh, in the memory. So the cache will wait for the right moment to send them to the screen. So uh, that means there is a delay there um, uh, between you have executed this line of code and seeing the actual result here. There's a delay there. Right now, you already seen it because right now we are indeed at the scan because that's the uh, uh, right moment and to uh, clear the cache. And in that case, the cache, this uh, string in the cache will be printed out, sent to the screen. So anyway, uh, right now we are indeed here uh, asking the user to input a number. So uh, in that case, I will give it a 10 this time. Then I use enter. You will see that after the user inputs the 10, and the code right now has been executed to here. So you will see the number right now equals to 10, the number we have just inputted. And you will see from here actually uh, the, each of the local value, they have a value, uh, has been displayed here. Uh, you probably will become confused that why i and j have that number. It's actually a random number uh, initialized by uh, your um, program because you haven't initialized it by yourself. So it will automatically set some of the random value for you. Uh, but however, this is right place we're initializing the i. So in that case, we're saying i to zero. Let's execute that code. Okay, right now you will see that I I am setting I um, to zero. Uh, you will see here I uh, equal to zero. But right now uh, we are um, uh, we are getting to the point of the while uh, loops. Um, the condition is we have to compare uh, between I and the num. Right now I is, is zero. Uh, num is ten. Um, I is definitely less than 10, uh, 0 less than 10. So we are going to, uh, if we move forward by uh, using this step over, it will get inside the body of this while loop. Uh, in that case, we will get to the for loop. Uh, right now, um, uh, j is a random number um, before this initializing. Uh, of j to 0. So let's move forward. Okay, after j was initialized, j right now equals to 0. Then we will in go, um, uh, because j equals to 0, i right now equals to i. There, um, this condition um, passed. So we'll get into the body of the for loop uh, to print a star there. So let's do it. Okay. Um, then we do it again. Okay. Right now, J because J is J plus plus here um, actually has a has added one to J. So J right now equals to one. And then compare back to the I right now uh, is zero. This condition fell. So the loop, the for loop stopped from here. And right now uh, we're getting, getting to uh, the outside, the in, uh, namely the while loop to print this new line. You probably wonder, because uh, we have uh, printed a star here actually, have, as you have seen previously, but why don't we have that star here? The reason actually is very similar as this printf, uh, as I have explained. Right now, the star are in the cache. Uh, and the uh, cache will seek the right moment to send them to screen. And basically, if uh, we print this new line, uh, they will be sent to the screen. Uh, let's do it. OK, you will see here there is a star there. Uh, that means the stars in the cache, uh, the string in the cache has been sent to the screen. And uh, the user right now 
are being able to see it. Okay, uh, right now we're in a while loop. Right now i equals to zero. Let's use i plus plus. That means we're adding one to i. And after this, uh, i is supposed to be one. Let's do it. Okay, you will see that i equals to one right now. Then compare range between i and the num. The num right now is ten. Uh, the one, the number we have inputted here. So uh, this condition still hold. So uh, it will get into the loop, but this time something has changed because i right now equals to one j uh, after execution of this uh, line j equals to zero so this condition holds and uh, we are getting here to print a star then last time when the i equals to zero we get this line of code executed only once but right now you will see uh, it will be executed twice because you know j right now equals to one and i equals to one this condition still holds then the this loop will be executed then we can do it again uh, okay right now because j right now equals to two i equals to one uh, we are quitting from the for loop and get to the outside while loop then we print the new line here um, uh, so can you remember how many cash how many uh, stars right now in the cache uh, two right because we have actually executed this line twice uh, in the for loop so after this we're going to see two stars there okay um, then you will see that every time uh, you're indeed getting one more star there okay this see the new um, breaking point here and so we can see that each of the while loop uh, the star has been printed out like um, uh, uh, we can use this that means it's will run into uh, next it will be uh, run into uh, this icon will help you to run into the next break point okay like this you'll see here there are three of them let's do it again that means it will go over this and stop here there are four and we do it do it do it do it so every time you will see the uh, value of i has been changed right now it's seven do it again right now it's eight so we are going to uh, have the corresponding number of stars printed out on the screen so let's do it again do it again so uh, that's the end of this program you are going to see this triangle there so this is the way we're debugging our program uh, this is very useful sometimes you don't actually uh, what's going wrong with your program you can say set, set this break uh, point steer to let uh, your program style uh, from there so you can check out the value here um, to um, see if everything goes right or uh, where you get wrong and in that case you can modify your code for uh, that exception okay this is the way um, we can do the debugging in VS Code. Uh, most important these steps are uh, you have to install this code LLDB and then after it you add one more configuration uh, uh, using that LLDB launch. Okay, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed and try it yourself. <laughs>